Johnny Hubscher here, Happy Baby Boomer from Loblolly Fitness Center Pilates Program. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching a intermediate level, but I'll throw in modifications, about a 30 minute Pilates mat class. Okay, so just follow along. Please rest when you need to. Join back in when you feel ready. Okay, all right, so we're gonna start first with our knees and our feet about four inches apart. Wrap your arms underneath your legs. I want you to relax your shoulders down. Bring your forehead over towards your knees. Relax the shoulders. Take a deep breath into your back. And as you exhale, I want you to draw up your pelvic floor. Pull your stomach muscles in. Now pull your chest away from your thighs and feel your upper back stretching. Push your throat through the back of the neck, your heart through your shoulder blades, and your belly through your lower back. Feel your back muscles release and relax. Very good. Okay, now that we've stretched out our back, we're gonna work on the 100. You're gonna lie down on your back. Now, level one, if you have back or hip pain, just keep your feet on the floor. Level two is tabletop with arms lengthened out, okay? If you have neck pain, just keep your head down on the floor. Ready? We begin the pump. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Now exhale, curl and lengthen the legs. Four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and five, and three, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and four, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and five, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and six, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and seven, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, eight, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, nine, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and ten, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and five, and put your feet down, good. Now, if you have neck pain, I want you to put your hands on the back of the head. No neck pain, put your hands on the front of your thighs. Move your feet away from the torso, but please keep your knees bent. We're gonna inhale, reach the hands up to the sky, lift up the head. Now exhale, Kegel and core, and then just curl and see, can you get your fingertips past your knees and come back down. Inhale, exhale, pull in your core. Now don't worry about how high you get. It's not about the height, it's about squeezing all the air out from your abdominals. Inhale. Exhale, engage. Inhale. Exhale, engage. Good. Inhale. Exhale, engage. Squeeze all the air out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's do one more time. Inhale in. And exhale out. Very nice. And come down. Okay, now we're going to do a leg circle. Your legs are up. Now, if you've got really tight hamstrings and it's impossible for you to get your knees to straighten, just bend your knees 90 degrees, flex your feet so you're holding tabletop, okay? All right, so I'll start off with the easiest version. Inhale, bring your knees in over your chest. Exhale, open your legs, pull in your core, reach your legs a little away. Don't let your back arch and close. Inhale, we come in, exhale, tighten the core, reach the legs away and close. So if you have better flexibility, we're gonna do straighter legs. And we inhale, bring your legs over your body, exhale, open, flex, turn out. Now tighten up the core as you lower the legs. Don't let your back arch off the floor. Point and close. Inhale, bring your legs over your torso. Exhale, you open, flex, and lower the legs. And close. Inhale, bring your legs over the body. Open, exhale, flex, and 
tighten up the core and come in. Now we're gonna reverse, open, flex, inhale, exhale, tighten your core, bring your legs over, point and close, lower the legs, avoid arching the lower back off the floor. Flex, exhale, bring your legs up and over, point and close, and lower, very nice. Now, take your left leg down onto the floor, and your right leg is straight to the ceiling. Move your arms out like a capital T. All right now, if you have very tight hamstrings, do the exercise with your knee 90 degrees. Flex your left foot. Now, inhale, you're gonna cross the right leg over to the left side of the room. You're letting your hip roll up off the floor, but not your left shoulder, right shoulder. That stays flat. Exhale, tighten the core. Now, you bring your leg back to the start. Now, as you open the right leg to the right, there is no movement in that left hip. You should not feel it rolling off the floor. Circle, ankle to ankle, bring your leg back up. Now, if you're more flexible, you can do it with a straight leg. Inhale, we cross over, keeping that right shoulder on the floor. Exhale, we come up. Now, you're gonna circle out. Now, there should be no movement in your left hip as you circle around, ankle to ankle, and up. Inhale, we cross over. Exhale, tighten the core. Make a circle, no movement in the left side of the body. So what if the left side of your body is moving? Well, your circle's too big. Just make a smaller circle so that your focus is on stabilization of the left side of your pelvis as you're mobilizing the right side. Let's do one more on this leg. Inhale, we cross over. Exhale, you tighten your core. You make a circle down around. Now we'll hold the right leg down. We're gonna raise the left leg up. Now if you've got tight hamstrings, bend your knee. Inhale, we cross the left leg over to the right side of the room. Exhale, you tighten the core. As you take the left leg to the left, there's no movement in the right side of the hip. Good, now if you're more flexible, you could do a straighter leg. Inhale, we cross over. Exhale, now no movement in that right hip as you circle the left leg around and up. Inhale, we cross. Exhale, we circle around and up. Inhale, we cross. Exhale, we circle around. And let's just do one more time. Inhale, you feel the stretch in the outside of the hip. Exhale, tighten the core as you circle around and up. Now we're gonna do the corkscrew. So we're gonna start level one is both knees 90 degrees for those with the tight hamstrings. Hands are down by your side. We inhale. Now exhale, tight core. Both legs go a little to the right. Then you're gonna move your feet over the right corner of the mat, over to the left corner of the mat, up, center, inhale. Exhale, tight core, go left. Now move your feet to the left corner of the mat, over to the right corner, up, inhale, center. Now for those of you that are more flexible, you do a straight leg. Inhale, exhale, tighten the core, the legs go a little to the right. Now down over the right corner of the mat, left corner of the mat, up, and the center, we inhale. Exhale, tighten the core, the legs go left. Down to the left corner, right corner, up, and center. Inhale, exhale, tight core, we go right, down, around, up, and center. Inhale, exhale, tight core, going a little to the left, down, around, up, and center. Very nice. Now, Hug your knees to your chest, lift your head up, and look at your pubic bone. Now, we're gonna inhale, pull the knees to the chest. Exhale, you push your legs into your arms, and it rolls you up. Now, you're going to pull your knees back, and then push your legs into your arms. Always keeping your elbows bent, never straightening the arms. Keeping your eye gaze locked on your pubic 
pubic bone so that your spine is round and rolls easily. Let's do one more time. Inhale, exhale, and stop. Now, we're gonna do spine stretch. So I'd like you to scoot back and put the heels of your feet in the corners of your mat. Pull your toes up really strong. When your feet are flexed, your entire leg, more active, more work, better results. Now your hands, same thing. You spread your fingers, your arm muscles, your upper body muscles work harder. So when the feet and the hands are active, everything in between the feet and the hands, which is all of you, is working much harder. All right, now, first we strengthen the back by holding a beautiful straight spine. Now, if you have a shoulder injury and you cannot put your arms over your head, you find that spot where you can have energy flowing out of your fingertips, but you have no shoulder pain. So if you have to be here, that's fine. No shoulder injuries or pain, your arms are gonna be up parallel to your ears. Now you take a big breath as you grow tall. Now as you exhale, Kegel, pubic navel ribs, round over so you're looking at the floor between the two knees. Bring your fingertips down to the floor. Slide your fingers forward as your belly pulls back. Now, notice that the shoulders are not tensed up around the neck. Relax the shoulders down. Press your throat back, your heart back, your belly back. Inhale, sit up tall, nice and straight through your spine. Now exhale, pull your belly in. You're leaning over the legs, fingertips on the floor. As your belly pulls back, your fingers slide forward, but shoulders down, back of the throat, lifted right through the back of the neck. And one more time. Inhale, we come up, nice and straight, strong, beautiful spine. Exhale, we round over, pulling the belly back, the heart back, the throat back, as the fingertips reach forward. Very nice, now come up. Arms are horizontal, we want your thumbs up, shoulder blades back and down, energy flowing through your fingertips. Inhale, we grow tall through the crown. Now exhale, Kegel, tighten the core. Take your right hand outside your left ankle. Now, your left palm, you twist the shoulder down so that the palm faces up. You're going to look back at that hand. Now you're reaching your arm back with the crown of your head towards your big toe. Now you brace. Your right hand is pressing in against your left ankle. Your legs are rotated out. Your feet are flexed strong. Inhale, we come up nice and tall. Exhale, tighten the core. Now you twist your right shoulder down, palm faces up. Look back at that hand. Reach it back. Reach your head forward to your big toe. Now brace your hand against your leg and your leg against your hand and feel how that deepens the stretch. Inhale, we come up, nice and tall. Exhale, right hand outside the left ankle. Reach the left hand back. Reach the top of the head to your big toe and brace the hand against the ankle. Inhale, we come up. Let's do one more saw. Exhale, engage. Look back at your hand, reach back, turn your legs out. Top of the head toward that big toe, very nice. And we come up, excellent. Now we're gonna do the single leg stretch to work the core. You're gonna lie down on your back. Now your left leg will be four inches above the floor with your foot flexed. Your right knee to the chest. Now it's always opposite hand to the knee, the same hand, so in this instance, the right hand is at the right shin. Now, if you have no neck issues, curl up, look right down at your pubic bone. Use your arms to pull yourself up so that the top of your head faces the ceiling. Now we elbows out, armpits down, big breath. Exhale, engage the core, pull the right knee in, reach the left heel away without moving your head. Inhale, change legs, opposite hand to the knee. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Now, if you're having neck pain, put your hands on the back of the head and support. Exhale, inhale, 
exhale, inhale, exhale. Little one leg stretch. Opposite hand to the knee. Same hand to the shin bone. Elbows out strong, armpits down. Last one, very nice. Now hug both knees in and lie back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, curl up your head, look at your pubic bone. Elbows out, use your arms to help pull your torso up. Take a big breath in. Now exhale, Kegel, core, both arms and legs reach for the wall in front, pull back in, inhale. Exhale, Kegel and core. Now, if you're feeling your lower back, arch off the floor, your legs are too low, you need to raise them up. You do not want to feel your lower back pulling off that floor. Inhale, exhale. Now, you could make this a little more challenging by taking your arms out and then pulling back in. Inhale, exhale, out, pull in. Let's just do one more. Exhale, out, and in. And put your head down. Hug your knees in. Very good. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to do the bridge. So I'd like you to have the heel of your foot pretty close to your buttocks. So it's right underneath your knee. Let's go ahead and just hug the knees and the ankles together so we know that our legs are at least in a perfect parallel. Arms are down by your side. Chin down, eye gaze over the top of the knees. Now we'll take a big breath into your back. As you exhale, a gentle Kegel. And then you're gonna tip your tailbone to the ceiling. You're pressing your lower back down. And now you're going to press the heels down and lift your hips toward the sky. Now, we want to make sure that the belly is not poofed toward the ceiling. You want your belly scooped in against your lower back. Your tailbone points up. Now, you're going to press your inner heels down, lift your toes up. Hug your knees together. Now, reach your knees for the top of the wall in front of you. Exhale, Kegel, point the tailbone straight up. Now scoop your belly as you come down one vertebra at a time, bone by bone. One vertebra at a time. I want you to feel every bone articulate into the floor, vertebra by vertebra. Feel the back of your hips and now let your tailbone down. Inhale. Exhale, Kegel, tip your tailbone up, scoop your belly as you come up. Now, take your arms, if you have no shoulder injuries, take your arms back. Imagine that I am pinning your hands to the floor. Inhale, point your tail up, press your heels down, reach your knees away with energy. Now exhale, Kegel, point your tail to the ceiling, as you roll your spine one vertebra at a time, do not allow your hands to lift away from the floor until you get every bone in your spine to articulate against the floor. When you feel your tailbone down, that's when you bring your hands down. Inhale, exhale, Kegel, tip your tail up, peel your spine up, reach your hands back, Inhale, pull your toes up, reach your knees away, squeeze your legs together. Exhale, Kegel, point your tailbone up, scoop your belly, and we roll down vertebra by vertebra. Keep your hands back until you get every bone on the floor. Tailbone down and bring your hands down, inhale. Exhale, Kegel, tailbone tips up, Peel your spine up and hold. Now reach your arms back. Okay, now we're going to march in place and there can be no rocking or lowering of the hips. Your hips are up and they're stable, they don't move. Inhale, exhale, draw your belly in, bring your right leg up in tabletop. Inhale, put it right back down. Exhale, tighten your core left leg. Inhale down. Exhale right. Now focus on your pelvis. Are you keeping your hips up? Are you keeping them stable? We're not letting the hips rock or drop. 
So we have a stable pelvis as we march in place. And this simulates the stability in your pelvis when you're walking. Last two. One more. Left leg. Put your foot down. Hold your toes up. Reach your knees away. Point your tailbone to the ceiling. Inhale. And now exhale. Kegel. Pull your belly in. And we roll down vertebra by vertebra. Rolling into the spine all the way down. Tailbone down and bring your hands down. Nice work. Hey, now let's just bring the knees in. We'll hug and gently rock right to left. Massage your lower back. Very good. All right. Okay, now I'd like you to grab a hold behind your legs and just roll up. Very good. Now we're going to lay on our belly. So we're just going to flip over. Good. Now, if you have any kind of conditions in your lumbar spine, stenosis or spondylolisthesis, you may want to put a small pad underneath your pubic bone. Could be a rolled up towel or a very small pillow, something of that nature that you can place under the pubis, is we want to avoid arching in the lower back. We want to strengthen our upper back and our buttocks, okay? So, you have your feet open to the corners of your mat. We're going to start first with a very simple exercise called the dart. You'll bring your hands back. Now, notice that my palms face my thighs, so off the floor. Good. Now, you turn your head to the right. Draw your tailbone down, scoop your belly in so there's no arch in your lower back. All right, now, inhale, we're gonna softly lift the chest. You look straight down so there are no wrinkles on your neck. Roll your shoulders back, reach your fingertips down. Now, exhale, pull up your stomach, pull your tail down, your belly's in, and then you lift your legs. So you can feel that it was your buttocks that lifted your legs and your upper back that lifted your chest, not overworking in the lower back. Now bring your toes down, turn your head left, relax. Tailbone down, stomach in. Inhale, we lift the chest, you look straight down. Roll your shoulders back, hug a pencil, make your arms longer. Exhale, stomach up, tail down, butt tight. Now raise your legs up. So you should feel like a dart or a missile flying through the air right now, totally streamlined. Bring your toes down, turn your head to the right. Tail down, stomach up. Inhale, we lift the head and chest. Look straight down. Shoulders back, hug a pencil, reach your hands down. Exhale, stomach up, butt tight. Now you're ready to raise your legs up. Feel that strength in the glutes and the upper back. Turn your head, relax down. Let's do one more. Tailbone down, stomach up. Inhale, we lift the chest, you look straight down. Roll the shoulders back, hug a pencil, longer arms. Exhale, stomach up, butt tight, raise your legs. Very nice. Pull your stomach in and up. Tailbone down, butt tight, shoulders back. Excellent. Bring your hands down by your chest and push up. Now I want you to round your back toward the ceiling. If you cannot tolerate being on your knees, just sit and hug your knees to your chest like we did at the very beginning. Okay. Very nice. Okay, now we're gonna work on a half plank, which is from the knees. You're going to come down onto your elbows. Hands are together in prayer. Now move your torso forward so that your shoulders are right above your elbows and your eyes are on your thumbs. Now walk your knees back so that your torso from your hips to the shoulders to the crown of your head is one line. Now curl your toes under. Take a nice breath to prepare. 
exhale, tail down, butt tight, stomach pulled up. I want you to lift your right knee and now your left knee. Now gently put your right knee down, put your left knee down. Inhale, exhale, tight core, lift your left knee. Now your right knee. Now put your left knee down softly. Now your right knee, inhale. Now for those of you that work a little harder, that's good for level one. Level two, your legs are straight. And you're going to inhale, lower the knee, exhale, straighten it, left leg, inhale, lower, exhale, straighten. So level one, knees are on the floor. You straighten one knee at a time, bring one knee down. Now the other side, left, right, left. Let's do one more set. Right, left, right, left, and left, up, right, left knee down, right knee down, very nice. Walk back. Now, sit your hips on your heels and bring your hands back towards your feet. Allow your head to hang forward. Shoulders relax forward, and now breathe into your back. Exhale completely. Inhale deep. Exhale completely. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna come up. Good, now I'd like to work this, some side work for our hips. I'm just gonna turn the mat a little bit so that you have more of a side view of me. Good. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm gonna lie on my right side. I'd like you to lie on your right side. Okay, your bottom arm reaches to the front and then you bend it and you allow your temple above your ear to rest on your wrist. You need to keep your head pulled back. Now your bottom knee is bent to the front edge of your mat. Your top leg is as high as your hip. Then you're gonna take that top leg and you're gonna make it five inches longer. When you do that, it pulls the hip down and it lifts your waist up off the floor. So now your spine and your pelvis are in good alignment because you made that top leg so long. Now to stabilize the torso, take your top hand, put it on the back of your head. Now I'm lacing my fingers together and then pushing my head back into my hand. So I am one line from my tailbone through the crown of my head. I'm not gonna break that line by looking down. Keep the head back, eye gaze forward. All right, now, there's a soccer ball five feet in front of your stomach. I want you to inhale and you're gonna kick the ball twice. And then you point your toe and you draw your core in as you exhale and you take your leg back as if your big toe could touch the corner behind you and you'll feel your butt get really tight. Now flex your foot, you're gonna inhale, kick the ball twice, point, exhale, take the leg back, squeeze your buttocks. Flex, come forward, inhale, inhale, point, exhale, take your leg back. Feel the butt muscle tighten. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Very nice, so that's called the side kick. Now, I want you to bring your top leg in alignment. So your ankle, your knee, your hip, your shoulder, and the crown of your head are a perfect line as if you were standing on your left leg. All right now, take your leg, and I want you to rotate your knee and toe to the floor. So you feel your top hip, the left hip, roll forward a little bit. Now you're gonna tap your big toe on the floor and exhale, lift your heel up. Now again, make your left leg so long that your waist is off the floor. It does not touch the floor. And now you'll feel the outside of your left hip lifting the leg from gravity. Side leg lift, but we're specifically targeting the muscle right here on the outside of the hip. So that's why the hip has to roll forward and the knee is turned down so that you target that important muscle. Good. 
All right, now let's come back into neutral. The hips are stacked. Now we're gonna make small leg circles. You inhale forward, exhale up and back. Inhale forward, exhale up and back. Inhale forward, exhale up and back. Inhale and exhale. So you can feel the muscle on the outside of the hip, lifting the leg up and then the buttocks carrying the leg to the back. One more in that direction. Now let's reverse. Exhale, you go back and up, inhale forward. Exhale, back and up, inhale forward. So I like to exhale when the leg goes behind the body because that's when you need your core to engage to prevent your lower back from arching as the leg goes behind the body. That way you know that it's your butt muscle that's carrying the leg back instead of your lower back. We don't want your lower back to do the work for the buttock. One more time. Nice work and come in. Good job. All right, now come up into a seated mermaid. So your legs are still where they were. You're gonna take your left hand and hold your shin. Now take your right arm and bring it up parallel to your right ear. Relax both shoulders. Take a nice breath in. Now exhale, you're gonna reach your right hand over to the top of the left wall. Pull on your shin with your hand. Now rotate and look up and feel that nice stretch along the right side of your body. Take another breath in and exhale. Very nice and come in. And let's swing our legs over to the other side and we'll do the other side. Okay, so the bottom arm is out and you're gonna bend it and let your temple rest on your wrist where you would buckle your watch. Your bottom knee is bent and it's at the top edge of your mat. And then your top leg is level to the hip, five inches longer. Feel your waist come up off the floor. Now your top hand is behind your head. You're gonna lace your fingers together and keep your head pressed back into your hand. All right, now there's a soccer ball. We're gonna kick it twice. Inhale, inhale, point. Now exhale and we take it back. Make your big toe, reach for the corner. Feel your butt muscle. Now flex, inhale, inhale. Point, carry the leg back. Draw the belly in, keep your elbow pointed to the ceiling with your head pressing into your hands. This prevents your spine from losing stabilization and rounding forward. We want the torso to be perfectly stable. No movement in the torso as the leg moves. Very nice, good job. Now, line that top leg up with your hip and shoulder and crown. Flex your foot, make your leg long. Now rotate the knee and the toe down and the hip rolls forward a little bit. Waist is still off the floor. Inhale, tap the big toe. Exhale, lift the heel. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. Feel the muscle on the outside of the right hip, the gluteus medius muscle, lifting your leg. This is a very important muscle group because it is what stabilizes your pelvis when you're walking. Hold it up, now come back to neutral. Flex, reach through the leg. Inhale the leg forward, exhale back and up. Inhale forward, exhale back and up. So there's no movement in the torso. You're still keeping your head pressed back into your fingers. Your elbow points to the ceiling. You're making a small leg circle from the socket, the hip socket. The leg is circling in the socket. Let's do one more this direction. Very nice, now let's go back. Up, exhale back, inhale forward. Exhale up and back, inhale forward. Exhale up and back. Feel those muscles that surround the hip joint doing their job, bringing the leg forward, lifting the leg up, taking the leg back, bringing the leg down. These are all muscles that surround your hip joint. These are all stabilizers that help you maintain good balance and agility when you're walking or playing sports. 
One more time. Very nice. And come in. Now bend both knees. Top hand comes in. Good. Now we do the mermaid. Grab your shin. Now take your left arm parallel to your ear. Shoulders down and relax. Inhale. Now exhale. You're going to reach your left hand over toward the top of the right wall. Lots of energy flowing through the fingertips. Big breath. And exhale and come down. Very nice. And release. Good job. Okay, now I'd like you to come, we're going to lie down on our back and just do a final stretch, okay? Good. All right, now, I'd like you to have your left leg straight down on the floor. Bring your right knee up in tabletop. Now take your left hand outside the right knee. Take your right arm out to the right wall and turn your head to the right. Take a big breath to prepare. Now as you exhale, Kegel, core, let's take that leg over to the left side of the room, but keep your right shoulder flat on the floor. So you feel this nice stretch here in the outside of the right hip. Now take a big breath in, exhale, engage the core, Kegel, pubic up, navel in, ribs in, add a little pressure with, from your hand into the knee. Now think about your right hip and reach it down towards your left foot, just the hip. And you'll notice your hip is moving down away from your lower back and it's releasing tension from your sacroiliac joint. Feels really nice. Now to stretch the IT band, keep your leg crossed over but let the hip come back down. So your hip is 100% on the floor, but the knee is still crossed over to the left. Bear down with your hand, and now you're stretching the IT band along the outside of your thigh. Very nice, and release. Now let's bring your left knee up. Now your right hand is on the outside of the left knee, and your left arm reaches to the left, and your head is turned left. Inhale. Now exhale, we're going to carry the leg over to the right. Your shoulder stays flat. Now breathe deeply into your back. Exhale, tighten the core. Press down on the knee. Now reach your left hip toward the right foot. And feel that subtle release of tension from the back of the left hip where the SI joint is, sacroiliac joint. Very nice, and we come in, good. Let's bring both knees in, tabletop. Now your hands are inside your knees, inhale. Now exhale and just press open, and we're stretching these short inner thigh muscles that are up here closest to the groin when your knees are bent. Okay, now, you have four muscles that make up your inner thigh group. So they go from short, medium, long, and very long. So this is obviously the stretch for the short ones. Now we're gonna go a little bit deeper into the center of the inner thigh by very softly extending your legs. Don't lock your knees, keep your feet soft and relaxed. Now you feel that stretch get a little bit further into the center of the inner thigh. Breathe deeply. Good. Now, just to go a little bit further along, keep your feet relaxed, but lengthen through your knees. Keep your feet relaxed. And you can feel that stretch progress down, closer to the inside of the knee. Now there's one more muscle for us to access. We're going to inhale, exhale, flex your feet now, and press out through the heels. Now, if that's too much for you, you come back to where we started, okay? Always work at a level that is right for your body. Respect your limitations. Feel that inner thigh stretch all the way down inside the knee. Very nice. And relax your feet. Bring your legs in and close. Good job. All right, now 
One more stretch. I'm going to take your right ankle and cross it over your left thigh. Flex both feet. Both hands go behind your left thigh. Your right elbow is inside that right inner thigh. Inhale. Now exhale, you're going to pull your legs toward the chest, but your right elbow is pushing your right thigh away. Now your tailbone reaches down into the mat, and then try to turn your tailbone a little to the right and feel the difference that makes in the stretch. You should be feeling that stretch right through here. This is where your piriformis muscle is. This is the muscle that lays right on top of the sciatic nerve. When the muscle is over tight, it compresses the nerve, and that's when we get the sciatic sensation that goes all the way down the leg. So this would be a stretch that might be able to relieve you of that sciatic pain. And let's unwind the legs. Now left ankle over right. Both hands go behind your left thigh. Your right elbow inside your right inner thigh. Both feet flexed. Big breath in. Exhale. Pull the right leg in as you push the left leg away with your elbow. Now reach your tailbone down into the mat. Now try to turn your tailbone to the left. Feel the difference that makes. Breathe deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Very nice. And let's unwind. Very good. Grab a hold behind your legs. We're going to roll up. Good. Sit and face me. Good. So that concludes our level one, level two Pilates mat class. It's about 30 minutes today. Um, we will have some extended versions that will be um, maybe 45 minutes to an hour and we'll include more intermediate and advanced level work. I thank you for following me today. Um, have a wonderful day. Stay healthy and safe. Thank you so much.